Hi everyone, how are you? This is fun, my favorite spot. I gotta get in my home space and up in the front of the stage. Cause sometimes I get in my head. Cause I talk a lot about practical tactical stuff like this, okay? And so I'm telling people how to do, what to do all day long and so I sometimes forget to <sighs> breathe. In fact, when I pull angel cards, it's always that card. Because <laughs> I'm the doer, not the beer, and I had to learn that. But I'm going to do a little doing with you today. Is that okay? All right, so I've only got 10 minutes, so I'm going to give you a couple checklists. <laughs> and then you're going to have to see me for the how, because ah, like how can I do all this? And, ah. But I wanted to give you a little snippet of things because we've been talking a lot today. Uh, almost all the speakers have been talking about a marketing strategy, a sales strategy or something, right? And let's face it, that does not work unless you have your systems in place and a really kick butt website. Do you guys agree? Right? Your website can't just sit there and look pretty. It's got to do stuff, like take names and numbers and phone numbers and addresses and all kinds of stuff. Don't rely on just email anymore, you guys. Right? How many people entered for, is it Cindy? It's entered her thing. And the first thing on top of the page after, go check your spam. Right? You have to tell your people to go check your spam box. So you got to look there for my stuff too. <laughs> Why are you here? How I think all of you are here, let's face it, for the bottom one to have more fun today, right? But, <laughs> but if you are <laughs> overwhelmed with technology or all the stuff, okay, then I'm going to give you some checklists and there's one in that white envelope. Remember I told you about the golden ticket? In there is like a gigantic marketing checklist too. So it is kind of like a marketing plan for you. You're not going to do it all. Okay, you're only going to pick five or six things from there and you also are um, not going to do it all in six months. You'll probably do it in three years, okay? This doesn't happen overnight. Successful businesses don't happen overnight, typically, okay? Uh, but I want you to get motivated to make more money. I know some of you can't see the slide, right? But this is fun stuff. <laughs> There's fun stuff on the slide right now because what motivates me is my family and coming and do these things. I do my own events and retreats, um, vacations, and uh, lots of girlfriends. So that's what motivates me to make a lot more money, okay? Because then I can have more fun. Who wants to have more fun? Who wants to make more money? That's not everybody. I don't see everybody. Now, I know we're in it to make an impact, and yes, we're going to do the impact too, okay? But if you don't focus on the money, you may not get the fun. You're going to be working too hard. So we have to set up systems, structure, automation. We have to delegate some things. We have to get comfortable with technology and or delegate it. So let's face it, you cannot ignore it, okay? So we're going to, in order to have more fun, we got to make more money. Here's a checklist. Okay, I know some of you can't see this slide. So I'll give you the slides if you... Over here? You can see? Okay, all right. So just wanted to share. So these are like the six areas to review for your website. Okay, for your website, branding look and feel is really important, let's face it. Okay, but you don't have to spend thousands and thousands to get a really cool looking branding and look and feel website these days, let's face it, right? There's some great templates out there. You're gonna get a designer. Please don't do your own website. Even web designers should probably not do their own website, okay? Because you're too close to what your business is, right? Then creative content. I've seen websites where it's a bunch of pictures and not enough words. Well, that doesn't help the search engines, you guys. You have to have lots of content, too. Some people say, well, your pages are too long. Yeah, but you know what? They pull on the search engines, and that gets more traffic, and then you can read and pick and choose what you want to read or watch a video or whatever, okay? Layout and functionality, that's probably the biggest mistake I see people making is that they don't have the, the right stuff in the right places in order to... Uh, make people do something on your website. Because the number one goal of your website, what do you guys think it is? Number one goal of your website, shout it out. Conversion. Conversion. Capture info. What? Call to action. 
Click, yes. Okay, capture info. She said it, maybe some of you others said it too. But you got to get the names, you got to get their information before they leave. And so, so many people have it buried or non existent, or you think they're going to schedule a call with you. Okay, you design your website for people that don't know you at all, they're not ready for a call yet just because they've been there for three seconds. Please don't put that as the main call to action right on the top. Don't do that. Move it down and get something else that they might want to, I know, you're laughing because you have it there, right? So <laughs> I get it. <laughs> you can still have it there, but have something else, okay? Remember this. Write this down. Your website, you got to build it for people that don't know you and have never heard of you. The people that like you and have been there before will look around and find the thing they're looking for. But the people that have never heard of you and have no time, they are gone if they don't see what they need and what matters most to them. Okay? These are important things. Okay. So then we got marketing, copy, offers, engagement, personal touch. How many of you have a, at least one video on your website somewhere? Raise your hand if it's on the home page. Keep it up. Okay, those of you who don't have your hand up, please add a video to your home page immediately when you get home, okay? And then almost every other page could technically have a video also. I have so many examples of this, you guys, but I don't have a lot of time to share those. I would love to. I love talking through people's videos on calls. And, uh, and then conversion and call to action. Okay, this you definitely need to guess, <laughs> take a picture of. And so if you, uh, <laughs> I know, right? It's looking ridiculous, but it's your checklist. It really is 16 website must-haves. I'm happy to, if you enter my drawing, I will give you the slide so you don't have to do and deal with it right now because she's going to pull me from the stage in like three minutes. So I'm just saying, like, you, you don't have time. <laughs> no, 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 in a good way. In a good way. No, no, I got you. I got it. I got, no, because they're going to enter my drawing, and then they're going to get it. You upload it on the Facebook. I don't get their email. That's the whole thing. I'm why I'm up here. Like, stop it. <laughs> Thank you, and stop it. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> we have so much fun together. So I'm not going to go through all these, but I already talked about SEO. Um, please have fill-in forms. Please make sure you have video. I've talked about a lot of them already in just six minutes. Okay, seriously. Um, these are so important. And your full contact information. Have you ever gone to, I can't tell you, there's people in this room that have tried to find your phone number, and I can't on your website because it's not there. Or you're, you don't have your full address. I don't know what city you live in. I know because I know who a lot of you are. So put it there. You're making it hard for people. You can't make it hard for people to contact you or get your information or wonder where the heck you are. You have to make it easy for people. Okay? So easy. Make, put everything there. Okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, six areas to automate first. This is so important. So if you're not automating that much and you're doing too much manual labor chaos is what I call it, you want to follow up marketing from this event, you got to have systems for this. Otherwise, the networking is just fun, but it's not going to be productive and profitable, right? So whether it's online or in person, follow up marketing is the number one thing you want to have more systems for. I guarantee you, I even need more stuff in the follow up automation. I guarantee you, 99% of you do as well, okay? So pay attention to it and put focus on it. Stop avoiding it. And then social media marketing can be uh, automated, a lot of it, not all of it. Funnels, affiliate and partner mar marketing. I have a client right now who does invoicing. I'm like, oh my God, invoicing is so 1999. So like, <laughs> let's, let's get out of the invoicing world and get online payments, please. You can do it for almost any business. I promise you, just come talk to me and I'll tell you how. And then customer onboarding, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and then, so you can't turn the marketing hose on without all this stuff in place because then you're losing, people are falling through the cracks. There's cracks in the stage. They're just falling, all the money on the ground right here. This is the money <laughs> that she threw blue out of thing. This is the money you're leaving on the table when you don't have the automation and system set up. Just saying. Stop it. Stop doing that. Okay. If you want to learn more, you can come to my table and just make it easy. I also have a QR code, but it's all at my table. So you can enter to win. You've got the gigantic marketing checklist. I have two other really... Uh, great resources for you. I'm going to give you my entire playbook from my January Business Reimagine conference. There's like five speakers that were at that conference that are here. So 
I have lots of checklists inside of that. I mean, I'm telling you I'm the checklist queen. <laughs> and then I show you how on the ones once you figure out what you're going to do. Um, you're also going to get the, it's not 34 things, but it's a productivity checklist. I promise you, you won't get through all these in probably two or three years. But if that, you don't have to listen to another like guru out there. Just follow that checklist and check things off as you go. Or see how many you have. There's 43 things on that list. Anyways, that's what you got. It's those two things. And you're also going to maybe win uh, a seat to my boot camp. It starts on Monday, but it's all good. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs>